What's up Chemical Guys family and welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we are continuing with part two on this black Prius and this thing is beyond trash. So the first episode, Henry actually washed it. He gave it a nice thorough clean from the exterior. We pulled it into the bay and now we're inspecting the paint and this thing is completely trashed. There's tons of scratches, swirls, oxidation, water spots, and so much more that's wrong with this paint that we're gonna correct. So make sure to stay tuned. We're gonna show you guys everything that you guys need to know to achieve the perfect finish on your ride. All right guys, so after a closer look at the Prius, now that it's been pulled inside, and with our Chemical Guys LED inspection light, we inspected a paint to figure out what it needs. Now the paint has a ton of scratches, has a ton of swirls, has super, super oxidized finish. So there's really no clarity in the paint. It has a very dull look. And as well as it has a ton of embedded contaminants. So if you can hear this, The paint sounds like 80 grit sandpaper. That thing is super bad, it's super contaminated. The owner of this vehicle does not care for the exterior at all whatsoever. And I don't mean to say that in a bad way, but you can definitely tell that there's really been no effort put into maintaining the look of the vehicle. So now we're here today to fix it. So after inspecting it, now we can go ahead and get started with our detailing process. Now the first product I'm gonna grab is our OG clay bar. Now the reason I grab the OG clay bar is because it's light because I wanna show you guys just how bad the contamination on this is. Whenever you open your brand new Chemical Gaze OG clay bar, you'll have these two plastic sheets, which you wanna go ahead and remove from opposite end of the clay bar. After you take those off, you can toss them out, and then you wanna go ahead and grab the entire clay bar itself and start cleaning your car. I'm kidding guys, you don't wanna do that. Don't grab the entire clay bar. Cut yourself a small piece of the clay bar, about a quarter of the clay bar. Now the reason I'm telling you guys not to use the entire thing is because if you drop this on the ground, you would have to toss it out. And it's extremely stretchy, so you have a ton of clay bar to work with, and it's extremely sticky as well, so that stickiness of the clay bar is gonna help pull off all those embedded contaminants. Now you wanna clay bar your paint before polishing because you don't want any of that embedded contamination to get into your polishing pad, and then it's gonna cause more mess because all the contamination is gonna embed itself in the pad itself, and you're gonna start making more damage than you are doing good. So I'm gonna grab our uh, clay luber, which is a synthetic clay lubricant, and my OG clay bar, and I'm gonna start spraying down the surface of the hood. Now remember, whenever you clay bar your vehicle, you wanna have the slickest clay bar experience possible. So don't be afraid to go overboard with the clay lube. It's better to have more lubrication than not enough. And then when you start clay barring, all you wanna do is start gliding the clay bar left and right. Now, since this paint is extremely, it's extremely neglected, you'll notice that the clay bar sounds very rough. It almost sounds like it's scratching the paint, when in reality, it's actually taking off all the embedded contaminants. So if you have never clay bar your car, this is a great thing to do every once in a while to ensure that any of these embedded contaminants don't start etching into the paint. Now, the reason you don't want that is because all that contamination, especially if it's like rough, like uh, metallic flakes, rail dust, or anything like that, that stuff can be extremely bad for your paint because it can cause a layer of rust on the surface. And you don't want that enough, especially if you care for your vehicle. This Prius, it's not that old. I wanna say it's anywhere from about a 2010 to a 2014 model and you know just imagine this car is 10 years old and it looks this bad I've seen older cars that look much better than this one right here So right now what I'm gonna do is just finish clay barring the rest of the hood as well as the vehicle And then we're gonna proceed to polishing which I'll show you guys in a bit with our torque R rotary polisher <laughs> All right guys, so I just finished clay barring and removing all the excess clay luber from the surface. As you guys see, the clay bar is pretty jacked up. It has a ton of embedded contaminants. It's no longer bright yellow and pretty sure it's safe to say that we can toss this piece out uh, just because of how bad the paint was. Now normally a, a piece of clay like this can last you much more vehicles. It can probably even do the entire vehicle, but just how bad from the hood. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this piece out and then we're gonna grab a fresh piece for the rest of the panels. 
But we're going to stop right there and we're going to put this stuff to the side and we're going to go ahead and get into the polishing aspect. So now that the hood is all prepped, now we're going to go ahead and grab our blue masking tape and then I'm going to mask it off right in the middle so that we can have a nice hard 50-50 of what it looks like before versus after. <laughs> All right guys, so now that we have the hood masked off, we're gonna go ahead and set up our polisher. Now the polisher that we're gonna be using in today's video is gonna be the Torque R. Now this right here is a rotary polisher, and the reason I decided to go with the rotary is because this thing has a nice heavy cut. So this thing spins fast and it spins on one axis, so you're gonna accumulate a lot of heat, which is gonna be great for heavy cutting. You can also use it for fine polishing as well on a lower speed setting and with the finer polish and pad. So we're gonna be using it today with our orange quantum Hexlogic pad. I'm gonna go ahead and set that onto the backing plate right now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use our C4 clear cut correction compound. Now the reason I'm using this is because this is a fast acting compound, great for a fast acting polisher, like a rotary polisher, like the Torque R. So we're gonna go ahead and apply about five drops. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and saturate it with our pad conditioner right now, and then we can move our way onto the vehicle. All right guys, we're here at the car, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work in a small section at a time. So I'm gonna start off in this little corner of the hood. All right guys, so now that I've spread it out on the surface, I'm only gonna be working in this small section at a time. I'm gonna turn on the machine onto speed setting one, and then we're gonna go ahead and start working it onto this little surface right here. Just kind of work it in slightly better. And then once I work it in more evenly, then I'm gonna turn it up into a higher speed so that we get more of a cut. And then before you start your machine, always want to start off away from the paint as opposed to on the paint. All right guys, so now that we've spread out the product in this little section that we're gonna be working in, one thing I did wanna mention is the reason why we start the rotary machine away from the paint is because if we have it on the paint, this thing has a very, very quick kick. So if you turn it on while it's on the paint, there's a potential that you can cause a hologram in that section where you start off at. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on to a higher speed setting. I'm probably gonna bump it up to about 1400 RPMs, work the product until clear, and then I'm gonna wipe it off. All right guys, so we just finished doing the corner of the hood. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same process to finish the half of the hood. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now and then we'll be right back with you guys for the next step, which is polishing. All right guys, so right after finishing the C4 on the right side of the hood, we proceeded to go with the P4 Precision Paint Perfection Polish with the white hex logic pad. And we polished the right side just like how we did with the C4, only now with the finer polish and pad. All right guys, so we just finished working the P4 polish. We are currently removing it with a green workhorse microfiber towel. And I'm just buffing off the residue from the P4 polish. And check it out, you guys, this thing looks incredible. You can definitely tell that there's much more depth, much more shine, has no scratches. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is that you may be able to see some pitting on the paint. Unfortunately, that's not something that we can fix just because all the contamination that was on there, you remember the contamination at the beginning of the video that we removed with the clay bar? Well, in this case, some of that stuff actually uh, etched into the clear coat and unfortunately we cannot remove this unless we were to repaint it or wet sand it, which we don't really wanna do just because the owner of this vehicle, he just wanted something quick and this is probably the best it's gonna get in the fastest amount of time possible. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the tape so that we can see a hard 50-50 of what it looks like polished versus unpolished. All right guys, so we just finished the right side and like I mentioned, this thing looks amazing. Not only does it look much better than the left side, which is all dull and faded, the right side has a much richer shine, has much more sleekness, and it has a nice mirror reflective finish. So if my car looked like that, 
and you gave me something that looks like this, I'd be happy any time of the day. This thing looks incredible, and this is what you want your paint to look like. So we're gonna go ahead and conclude the video right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like, and make sure you subscribe, because on the next episode, you don't wanna miss out, because we're tackling the interior of this Prius, and if you think the paint looks bad, just wait till you see the interior, because this thing is way worse. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that, and you can also pick up all the products that we use in today's video directly on our website, chemicalguys.com, or directly at your local detail garage store. And if you do pick it up from our website, make sure that you join our MyCG Rewards Club so that you get rewarded for every dollar that you spend. You can also earn rewards on our website through the MyCG Rewards Club by completing activities which you can use to redeem for free products, exclusive discounts, free shipping, and much more. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the car and then we'll be right back with you guys on the next episode where we tackle the interior. Until then, my name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage, I'll see you next time.